And there goes everything upwards towards the sky, cryptos, equities, metals, you name it, everything is rallying. Is this the end of the correction? Is the bottom behind us? We are seeing some positive signs of it. And Chainlink is giving us that look. We have a possible five waves up seemingly forever ago. This was a, the beginning of March and we've been grinding sideways a long correction. But when we look closer, we may have a, neither, another micro one, two setup right here. One, uh, maybe a three, four, five, maybe another second wave, and we are off to the races. When I attach our Fibonacci extension tool here, this is giving us a picture that looks a little bit like this, in which we're expecting to get to the 1.32 extension of this five wave impulse, if this is a five wave impulse, which would be about 1543 to about 1591. Higher we go, the better. When we compare this to what I'm calling the larger wave one and two, so up here with a correction down to this bottom, and we would expect ourselves to get to at least the 0.32 extension of that pattern. We more than cleared that for this rally back here. And that would mean our next target should be about 1670. And we are fast approaching that top. If we see anything like that, that'd be a very good sign for us. As a matter of fact, we'd have to break through this pivot to get there, what we call the 0.618 to 0.764 zone. Once you break that, that's a very good sign that you're actually in the third wave up. And that's not a fake out B wave bounce. A very good sign in Chainlink as well as many other cryptos. It's not the only one. You can see how the MACD is slowly diverging. It's getting less and less oversold despite us having a few lower lows here. I'll zoom into Bitcoin just because it is our largest indicator sentiment. And we've seen a huge spike and a crash, but then we've actually managed to pull back up. So it hasn't invalidated anything necessarily. Yet. Ethereum looks even better than that. So off to the races there. Could be five waves up, could be an impulse. Not sure I call this an ABC, but the way we're going up, you never know. It could be an A, B, and we may be in a C wave. So we're not necessarily out of the way, out of the woods yet. The one altcoin that has been more bullish than pretty much anything else lately has been Dash because we didn't pull back as deeply. And we actually had five waves up after that bottom we hit around early March, first week of March. This does count cleanly as a one, two, three, four, five. We had a corrective pullback. What is the shape of this structure? What is this gobble and gook all over the place? I don't know. It's choppy. It's certainly not impulsive. So this doesn't look like a downside setup, but it's also not clearly bullish either. So if it's 50-50, I lean towards bullish. I have a bullish bias here. And if anything, this looks like a leading diagonal. You have a maybe a one, two, three, four, five, which means we may be due for a pretty sharp pullback here, but not too much lower than where we are. So that's what we're looking at. That's what we're looking at on the small picture. We had a similar kind of thing happen in the equities as well. I've been covering the Dow and the SPX more lately. And when you look at this thing, off to the races, is the one, two, and are we in the middle of a third wave? Possibly, certainly looking like it. We're not out of the woods yet, but it looks like we have a major inflection in the stock market and cryptos, with Chainlink being no exception. Zooming out, big picture, nothing has changed in, in Chainlink. We had this purple box below us. It still looms right below. We could at any moment turn around and drop into there. But right now, I don't see that much of a downside setup, at least in the big picture. Is this a corrective ABC up? That is yet to be seen. That possibility is still on the table. Again, I mentioned this could be an A, a B, and a C wave up. If that's the case, we would surely fall right through this red line into that box below. That box would be as shallow as the 976 mark, but we could fall down as low as 586. I wouldn't expect this to go too much lower because we've already come a long way down and this correction is getting quite long in the tooth. It's been going seemingly, well, not seemingly, it's been going since May of 2021. We are fast approaching the one year mark. Think about that. May 2021 was the peak and we are in the middle of March right now. So this has been one long and grueling correction, but that's what you expect in a fourth wave. Although in this case with Chainlink, I'm looking at this as more of a second wave. So if we do dip, I would expect there to be a quick red candle spike right in this box and a quick bounce right back out of it. And that is not unprecedented. We've seen the same thing happen multiple times before, right before a rally in 2021, you saw a big red candle spike right down and then we reversed with violence. Same thing happened here back in September of 2020. And I don't need to go all the way back to the everything crash because well, everything crashed and spiked back in similar fashion back there. 
compared to other cryptos, when I look at Bitcoin, there is some concern here that we may be seeing a triangle develop. This is a new development. I haven't covered this in any of my videos yet. I will be soon. But if we call this a five-way pullback for our C-wave in Bitcoin, you got an A, B, C, possibly a D, maybe a truncated D. If our E-wave or if our next rally doesn't break through the top of this triangle structure, we may have a sharp pullback in here. We call this a descending triangle in traditional TA analysis in Elliott waves. This is, of course, a fourth wave triangle. So assuming that this is a one, two, maybe a third wave down, a fourth wave up, we'd have a spike fifth wave, very quick, very robust. That's what a triangle is in other theory. It's typically a penultimate movement that precedes an explosive move in either direction. It could be up or down. In this case, it could be down. The other possibility is that it's a B wave triangle. So you have an A, you have a triangle forming for the B wave, and then you have a spike up for a C wave before we pull back much more decisively. Ethereum has a even cleaner looking triangle setup. As a matter of fact, when you close, and close the triangle, it looks like a triangle, like a delta symbol. And here you could count this as a one, two, three, fourth wave triangle. And if we don't manage to break through the top of this triangle, that, that there's that looming possibility that you know there's an A, B, C, D, E, and we have a spike directly in this box. So I'm gonna keep an eye out for that. I've been putting posts up all over. I'll probably put community posts on this, get those turned on much more quickly in the video. So don't get subscribed so you don't miss those. Back to Chainlink, our regularly scheduled programming. If we manage to hold, we've got a lot of room overhead. Since this is the bottom of a, what I'm calling the second wave, whether this is a second wave or a fourth wave, doesn't really matter. I expect to see a full five wave impulse to finish off this rally. Is this going to be a first sub wave or is this a fifth wave? Not much of a difference, practically speaking. I'd expect to see a five wave rally up to here. So ideally, if this is only a first wave, if I get to the $28, $30 range, we pull back and then you have a third wave. That would be a very good return if we got that. Should be impulsive. Maybe a good place to take some profits eventually. Then you'd expect a grinding fourth wave. And then a fifth wave somewhere in this box north of $106. It's a long web from here, a lot of return, a lot of meat left on the bones. So no reason to get to a rush just yet. There is the alternate possibility that we're going to complete this in diagonal format. So it could be a one, deep retrace two, three, deep retrace for the fourth, and a fifth wave that doesn't go quite as high. I certainly see this becoming more and more likely Bitcoin and Ethereum. So not really that. But we're going to see what happens in the next few days. If you enjoyed my video, don't forget to give me a like. Until next time, thank you for watching and happy trading.